Hello and welcome to my video review of Transformers R.I.D. 15 Windblade. So this is a pretty good figure in my opinion. Um, sword comes um, accessories comes with this sword, her iconic sword. This scabbard, I guess you would call it sheath, maybe um, that clips into her hip right there. But it doesn't like to stay in very well. But it also comes with it also has this peg here that you can kind of peg into her hand. You kinda of give her this giant blaster. As cause as you can probably see, I'll zoom in a little bit. It looks like there's a bit of a barrel molded in there to make it look more like a blaster. And it also comes with this small fan, which I normally just put the fan in this little um, compartment up there because it's kind of pointless because she doesn't hold it very well. Sorry. Um, does not stay in her hand and it just looks, looks dumb. Uh, that can stay over there. So, um, Head sculpt. Let's go over the head sculpt of this figure. Pretty good head sculpt. Um, a very nice paint detailing on there. The yellow part on her forehead could use a little touching up. Now, the face mask. The packaging art of this figure does not depict her with a face mask. It also depicts the figure with slightly different colors. I'm not complaining about that, though, because I think the figure personally looks cooler with the face mask. Um, standard R.I.D. 15 gigantic sticker. Kind of out of place. Nice detailing on the figure. A bit, a bit back, back slash top heavy because of this giant backpack where most of the alt mode is. Thus demonstrated. Now, let's get into the transformation. So you want to kind of straighten everything out here. Fold the cockpit of the jet up over her head. Making sure not to break it like I almost did. Um, straighten out the arms. Fold the feet up. Well, wrong way. Fold the feet up like that. Exposing the tail fins of said jet. Swivel the hips around. Get it all lined up. There's a... Hang on, I'll show that to you again. There's a small peg right here that pegs into a small kind of opening here that connects the feet together. So, just want to peg those together. Make sure... And then... Use the double hinge and fold the legs up, like so. Making sure to try to get it lined up with these small, um, openings, outcroppings, whatever you'd want to call them. Just to get those lined up. That's very important. And then you fold down this second part of the tail fin, and that's the bottom half. And then all you have to do now is make sure these arms get lined up and pegged in. Which is a little bit difficult. Sorry, I'm accidentally putting this too far away from the camera. Well, those don't peg in exactly great. Then you just fold down the landing gear and the wings. And you have a nice little jet mode. Well... More of like a Harrier jump jet because of the way it can, it, the fans on the wings. Now, the sword and the scabbard, the sword, insert the sword into the scabbard. And then, there's a small, see those? Well, the handle has two lines, like, kind of openings on it. You peg that into there. But the scabbard has a slight curve to it. I don't know if you can really catch that on camera. 
So it doesn't exactly work how it should in being like a cannon mounted, bottom mounted cannon, I guess. And it doesn't stay in very well, so I just like to leave it off. But I really do like this jet mode. I like the fans. One, only one of them spins on my figure for some reason. Um, very nicely detailed. The only complaint I have is the hand, the hand kibble kind of just sticking out and not pegging in properly. But overall, this is a very nice figure. And if you can find it somewhere, it's not really on store shelves anymore because R A D fifteen has met its end, I guess you could say. So, that was my review of R.I.D. 15 Transformers Deluxe Class, I forgot to say that, Deluxe Class Windblade, and I uh, hope you liked the review, and I'll talk to you guys later.